As a freshman, you have a lot of time to do a lot of exploring, and I encourage the library to be one of those places that you explore because there's so much knowledge in this space. People haven't been able to tap into it at the level that they could. So many Worcester students, they get really amazed how much how many resources we have. I would say that I relied pretty heavily on the resources of the library. And the library has laptops that you can check out for in-library use for four hours at a time. In the dorms you can easily get distracted so the library is a place where you can actually sit down and finish your work. I spend a lot of my time down in the core if I want to work with my friends. But I'm actually pretty mobile around the library, so some days I'll work with my care, a lot of times I'll work here in the core or with friends. I like the core a lot, um, especially the core rooms. Um, they're modern, they're open, a nice open space with a lot of windows. You're able to talk through things and there are whiteboards that you can use. When it comes to really tedious homework assignments, I prefer the third floor because it's the quietest floor. It's the red zone. My favorite study space, uh, definitely Timpkin. When you step in Timpkin, it's all about like getting your work done and like it's all business. So that's what I like about it. Working so. in the library is more like working in your own personal office. You have access to printers, photocopiers, and all of those things in one space and you don't have to do a lot of movements to get your work done before heading back to your dorm after a day's work. The research con consultation, um, I've done it a couple of times. It just helped me kind of like broaden my search engine. I schedule research appointments with our librarians. That's a great way to get started. Start at, at the research desk as a student aide. They will guide you in the right direction, and if not, they will find someone who will guide you in that right direction. So actually meeting with people and having them explain it to you sometimes makes uh, those resources just a lot more accessible. With the librarians, once you have your initial appointment, you can email them questions and they get back to you really quickly. Which really helped target my research and I could find sources that were really specific to what I'm interested in. Hmm, what advice I would give to first year students? Just come, start small, maybe come and do some work with your friends and then don't be afraid to become familiar with the resources that we have here. Definitely take advantage of the opportunities that the library provides because that can be so helpful. Um, they can come up with lots of sources and be really helpful with research in general. It's a great place, especially if you're in <laughs> dorms that are very loud to come and find a good place to focus. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Worcester is a pretty academically challenging school, but uh, this place is amazing for just getting the work that you need to do done. Work really hard and don't be afraid to ask for help. Meet with librarians. I think that's probably the biggest thing. We have a lot of people here that can help you. A lot of librarians that are very resourceful. Come to the research help desk. If you come here once, you'll know the basic way to navigate through the resources. And once you know how to do that, you're, you're all set. We at the desk are trained to be able to address the kinds of questions that you might have as a first year student, and we're very welcoming and happy to answer them. So I'd recommend kind of taking advantage of the people here, um, because the people are what make this place great. Even if you think that you're a strong researcher or anything, you'll still learn something. There's nothing too small that the library can't help out with. And um, it's a lot of fun, check it out.